Chelsea versus West Ham United, eighth versus ninth position. This is a game that's very key for Chelsea. You could argue for West Ham, but their season pretty much shot. Let's be real here. They've been stuck in the mud. David Moyes is most likely on his way out, and this is a game for Chelsea to go out and get all three points, get them level with Manchester United. Just, just think about that for a second. How bad we've been this season. We could somehow be tied for sixth position. Obviously, goal differential play a factor into that. But there is a possibility that we can jump all the way up into the sixth position or be tied with points for Manchester United. Granted, they will have a game in hand then. But still, this is a match that Chelsea need to go out and get all three points. And I think they can do that. Now, let's dive into the proper squad that I think pretty much picks itself. Because I think with our match we just had against Tottenham, that squad itself should be given the reins to go out and beat West Ham. Yes, we've had a lot of injuries this season, so again, that makes a huge difference on who can be selected, but with all the players that played in that Tottenham game, I don't believe we picked up any injuries, so therefore, again, the exact same squad should start. I think Gilchrist has been looking fairly well on that right-back situation. He's been very defensive. I think he needs to get credit where credit is due. Granted, if Gusto is fully fit or Reese James, they are going to start ahead of him. That's just how the nature of the things work. But even being the third choice in that position has been playing very, very well. And even our CBs, yes, Thiago Silva, the news is that he will be leaving at the end of the season. We may want to play him a few more times, but if we're being realistic and looking at the future, Thiago Silva maybe should not play or start for us, I should say. Not start. He should still play for us, but not start this match. I think Trevor Chalba and Battle Shield are the right candidates, again, for our starting CB position because, like I said, they played very well together. I think Trevor Chalba is another hidden gem that a lot of people have forgotten how good this player is. He's so good. There's reasons why Bayern Munich, yes, one of the best teams in the Bundesliga, wanted to bring this player in. He has such a great eye for a defensive skill set, and he can also attack very well, as we saw that goal against Tottenham. Therefore, again, if this guy is fully fit, there's a possibility that he could be in the starting 11 next season with one of our other CPs. But for this game's sake, let's say him and Battishield will start. And I don't have to say much about Battishield. I think he does pair well with Trevor Chalba. Yes, he does have a few errors here and there. But I think overall, he deserves to start this weekend after his performance against Tottenham. And Kukurela, I also think he deserves to start here too. Yes, he's been also known for some prone issues where it do lead to goals or some issues and errors. But I think overall, he played very well in that Tottenham match. Made some stellar runs. I think him... With Mudrik on that left side, these two guys are now starting to pair up quite well. They understand who's making the run, where they're going to be running. And this, again, could be one of our attacking sources on that left side. Because throughout this entire season, our left side has been pretty much nothing. There's been a few chances that have come down the left side, but we constantly are working on that right side time and time again, whereas now we have two players that can work off each other and start playing very, very well together. Now, the midfield, same thing. I don't think we have to go much in detail. Consado, again, playing very good, out of his mind. Connor Gallagher also playing phenomenal as of lately, who we should not sell. Let's be real here. Should not sell this player. Yes, we can get quite a bit of money, but he has been Chelsea through and through, and again, I think he has the quality to be one of the best players next season in this squad and also help Chelsea go further up into the table next season. That being said then, our attacking third, again, writes itself. Matawaki should be starting. Jackson should be starting. Palmer should be starting. And Mudrik, who I already mentioned, should be starting. These four players, I believe, are the future for Chelsea. Sterling, I don't think, should start any more matches. He can come off the bench, but should not be starting unless there's an injury. You could argue that possibly maybe someone else should be starting in that top role. And Cuckoo, obviously, but he's been hurt. So, again, that does factor in next season when he's fully fit. But these four players should be starting, and we have been seeing quite a bit from both these players. I think Jackson, again, he's that player that really does drive the ball into the box. Unfortunately, he hasn't scored more goals, but still having double digits this season in his first season at Chelsea at such a young age of 22, you have to realize the potential this guy brings to the table. Cole Palmer, obviously, been our best player this season. So all these players coming together, we are now playing very cohesive football, which, again, is what we've been wanting to see. If these players can stay fully fit for our last three matches this season, we should get all 12 points. And like I said in my last video, I think we can get into Europa next season because I do not think Tottenham have the capability to win any more games this season. And yes, they still play Sheffield United, but I think Sheffield United will beat them which again that's a whole different topic Chelsea versus West Ham though 
this is a game for us again to showcase the quality, the potential, what we can do next season against a team that we should be beating West Ham. So again, going out, we should smash them. I think we easily win this game. 3-0, we should keep a clean sheet as well. They don't really have too many players. Yes, Jared Bowen has been lethal throughout this entire season, but I think if we can keep him quiet, we can keep West Ham quiet throughout this entire match. And we have that chip on our shoulder because we lost them early in the season when they were down to 10 men. So this is a game we have to showcase our quality and go out and win this game. And again, keep continuing to climb up the table to get back in the European position. So that is what I have for you today. I do want to know, what do you guys think though? Do you think this is a squad we should start with? Or do you think we should go with a whole different squad? Where do you think we'll end up in this match? And also where do you think we'll end this season? So comment down below, hit the like and subscribe button if you really enjoy this content. Again, I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in our next video.